Okay, so here we are. Yep. So I want you to share your secret. You know, how do we make this coffee right from the supermarket ingredients? That's right. We'll get straight into it. So the way we usually make it, as we mentioned earlier, it's a bit different. So mm -hmm. instead of this stove, we'd usually be making it using the natural charcoal, yeah. okay, where you could get from anywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then instead of this one here, okay, we usually use the delle yeah. that I showed you earlier. Yeah. Okay, but the only reason why we're using this today is just due to the stove that we're yeah. using. So I filled it up with approximately halfway of water, so mm -hmm. just about up to here. So for people at home, they could just use like a kettle. Or, just a know, kettle, yeah. yeah. Water. But I was yeah. going to get my kettle that I've got from yeah. Kmart, but then yeah. I just decided to go with that. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay, so... Uh, I've put already some warm water just yeah. to make the process a bit quicker. Absolutely. Okay, Thank sometimes, you. you know, you've got guests just coming in out yeah, of nowhere, yeah, yeah. nothing planned. So, you know, just heat up the water, mm -hmm. chuck it in here. Uh, we'll turn this on. There you go. That's on. So what I have is you don't actually need a lot of ingredients for that, okay? It's really simple. Mm -hmm. Not as simple as, you know, when people come and taste it they, and they try it. They feel like they're something. Like, what, you've, yeah. what have you done to it? <laughs> okay, especially I remember last year at the St. George's Road Festival because we made it on natural charcoal as well. Mm -hmm. And people were so amazed from Absolutely. that taste. The Nescafe that we're using is, I'm using this version here at the moment, so it's just called El Cafe. Mm -hmm. Uh, I usually get this from, you know, any of the multicultural grocery shops here, yeah. okay? There's a few of them in Shep. So people or can just use your normal Nescafe? You could use that or the normal Nescafe yeah. that's available at Coles or whatever, yeah. Woolies, okay? Uh, so depending on how much you're making, mm -hmm. you'd put uh, the amount of coffee, yeah. uh, the coffee, sorry. So at the moment, uh, we've got to wait for this to heat up, yeah. okay? Once it's hot enough, okay, when it's really boiling, okay? Uh, because I've added half of that water, I'd mm -hmm. be adding four uh, spoons yeah. from this. So not Probably teaspoons, tablespoons. that's tablespoons, okay? Yeah. And you, you know, you want to fill it up like something that full, yeah. okay? Yeah. And then you also want to add one spoon of uh, cardamom, cardamom, okay? Yeah, so you want to crush it a bit, yeah. okay? And you know, some people throw these leaves out of it. Okay. But it's so actually a good idea inside, to yeah. leave them. Okay. Leaving them Adds does give taste. you a taste. Yeah. It does add more taste to it. It might so even, also, sometimes it might clog up in the dead leather. <laughs> that's right. It does happen. Okay? You don't want that to happen in yes. public. Then you, then you yeah. spill some coffee on you. You do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one spoon of that. Yes. Uh, with four spoons of coffee. Of coffee. There you go, guys. There's, there's the secrets coming out. So now since it's boiling, mm -hmm. we're going to add the ingredients that yeah. I mentioned earlier. Sure. So it's a good idea to probably turn this off. Okay, so mm -hmm. I don't burn this. Yeah. So you just take this off. And then I'm going to add four tablespoons of coffee. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I wouldn't make it as good as my mum. Yeah. Okay, she's a professional. She's been making it for years, but yes. <laughs> that's the, as there's, good as it can. We yeah. say that there's a nefes with, with cooking, isn't it? It is, yeah. So like... This energy that comes with the it's, food that you make. It's just naturally in them. Mm. Yeah. So her nefes to food, food will always taste good. 100%. Absolutely, you know? Yeah. I'll try to do the same as what my mum will teach me. And it'll never be the same. It'll never yeah. be the same. Yeah. I don't have the same nefes. <laughs> okay. And then we've got our teaspoon of cardamom. Tablespoon. Here. Yeah. Okay. A tablespoon, sorry. Mm -hmm. All good. Okay, I, I left a bit of a gap to kind of get a bit of air in it as yeah. well. And then we're turning this back on. Yeah. What happens now is after putting, you know, four tablespoons yeah. of coffee, one spoon of cardamom, uh, you've, you know, you've turned on your stove, yeah. uh, as I will soon. Yeah. Uh, make sure you take the lid off, okay, because when I usually use the delle, I take the lid off, mm -hmm. okay. So we're going to take the lid off here, just to keep an eye on the coffee, and then that way I know when it boils, okay, yeah. I could just lift it off. Because is it the coffee will rise, isn't it? And it will, it will spill, yeah. It will, yeah, okay? Yeah. And you don't want to lose all that coffee, yeah. okay? You want yeah. to keep, you know, as much coffee as possible. Yeah. So, because it does get pretty hot, and yeah. then if you've got a spoon with you, okay, give it a bit of a stir. Yeah. And so pretty much, you said you do it multiple times, so you let it rise, you take it off, it will settle, Put it on again, let it rise, take it yeah. off, let it settle. So you yeah. continue repeating that process until it rises up for about, you know, whenever it rises up, you put it down, let yeah. it cool down, put it back, 
for about uh, ready, eh? five to ten times, mm -hmm. okay, and then that way your coffee is ready to be served. Okay. So that way now it's boiled. Yeah. So and then rise, you just lift it. So you've got to have quick hands. You do. You've got and to keep good an eyes. Eye you've got to keep an eye on it, and yes. you've got to not be busy with anything else. Yes. Okay? Uh, so just keep watching it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much so it. Do that after three times. Okay. After it ten. boils fifteen times, you're all, uh, sorry, it's five to ten times, mm -hmm. you're all good to try your coffee. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was pretty close. <laughs> so once that's done five times or five to ten times, yep. Everything you just turn off the the fire, and now the coffee is ready to be served. That's right. Mm. And what some people usually do, like you know, I'd see my mother the way she does it is she wouldn't put, you know, the fire so high. She'd keep it pretty low mm -hmm. because as you saw now, it boiled pretty quick, but yeah. I'm just trying to do it as quick as possible yeah. to serve you. So, you know, keep it really low, mm -hmm. okay? The longer it stays, the better taste you get, oh, okay? okay? Because if you just, you know, put, a, you know, the highest and you're trying to serve it in like five yeah, minutes, yeah, yeah. It, it's going to taste like just yeah. water with a lot of coffee. In yes. It, okay? Yeah. So for, for it to so get you, that mix, yeah. okay, and let that, you know, that cardamom yeah. sink in that coffee, Mm -hmm. You need to keep it as long as possible, but without burning it at yeah. the same time. Okay. So now it's ready to, to be served. It so is. would you pour it in the dela? Just yeah. So, with the so to, we know if we've got a guest over, okay, after you know boiling it for as I said five yeah. to ten times, it's ready. Okay. So just with this dela that you've got, yep. people can purchase this here in Shepparton or in Australia. It's available at a lot of different like you know multicultural. The grocery shops, okay. Yeah, maybe at St. George's sometimes Road, maybe. St. George's Road, it's available. I've seen it there. Mm -hmm. Even gift shops sometimes have it as well. Okay. Okay. And then I'd fill this up. And now I'm just putting the whole thing in there. As yeah. as you can see, because I haven't boiled it enough. Yeah, the uh, colour. The colour is a bit light. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that just goes back to how many times you boil the coffee. So, yeah. you know, uh, probably, you know, if you saw the coffee before, it was, yeah, it was pretty dark. Okay. Yeah. Because it's been boiled a good amount of times. Well, that's good tips for our viewers, you know, to, to know that this is why you don't get the same results. So you need to have patience, you need to do it on low fire. So you've got to take your time in it, mm -hmm. okay? And as I mentioned earlier, natural charcoal gives it an amazing taste, yeah. okay? Yeah. Sometimes we usually do it after having a barbecue. Yeah. Okay, take the dela out, okay, take your coffee out and making a, you know, just using your barbecue. And, you know, we mentioned before that when you're having coffee, yeah. You can have it with something sweet like dates. That's or, right. So, you know, like a dessert. We've got some dates for you here as well that I've bought. As I mentioned earlier, so I'll have one with it. Got yeah. a variety of dates. Usually, what I'll do is take a bite of dates. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'll do too sometimes. And then take a sip of coffee. I think you've made a, a, a big amount of coffee um, and enough to be able to have that with more things. Yeah. And that's where I've, my surprise comes in for you that today I'll be making you a dessert from Iraq, where we can have with the coffee that you've just made. So I'll make oh, you halawat right. hainir. Oh. Or halawat halib. Yeah. You, you, you've had halawat halib. I've had it. I've had it many and times. And I think the English version would be like milk dessert. Milk dessert, I guess. Yeah, because yeah. halawa is a word that's used as like dessert. That's you right. Know, you can it's say halawat this, halawat that, yeah. so dessert of like rice, halawat to men, you know, halawat right. shamir. Yeah. So today I'll make halawat halib for you. Oh, that's exciting. And we'll have some with, with the coffee you've just made for us. Go for it. All right. Let's get started. Thank you for this. This is awesome. No worries.